St. Bonaventure University is known for its tradition, and nothing is more apparent than the women's basketball program. But the team did not start alongside the men's program in 1919. In fact, the university did not allow women to go to the school until September 1942 as day students. However, a new era dawned in the late 1950s when women's basketball started to gain traction around the country. And in 1959, the team was established as a club sport at St. Bonaventure, playing their first game against the Uville College as the Bonaventure Squaws. The 1960s saw two name changes for the women from the Lassies to the Bonnets. But bigger things were coming and soon the women's team gained recognition as a Division III collegiate team in 1971 in the Association for Intercollegiate Athletics for Women, or AIAW. Mary Jane Telford was on that 1971 team and says the games did not draw much attention. It wasn't a real noticeable thing on campus. Um, it wasn't the women's program at that point was in existence, but, uh, you know, our friends came to the game, but it, it was not like we were um, anything of great importance, I would say. Um, you know, our fans came to Butler Gym and hung their feet over the uh, the upper railing up up top the, where the track is, and, and that's where we played, and that was what people um, came to see. After graduating in 1975, Telford took over as head coach of the team on a part-time basis. But while they did not have early success, things changed again for the better in 1977 when Telford took the team to Division II in the AIAW, and was allowed to give partial scholarships, but they were not equal to what they are today. Those partial scholarships were five hundred dollars then, <laughs> so uh, it did not make the difference in attending St. Bonaventure. And and actually, what what I did is we recruited very good uh, academic students who were also basketball players and. Um, in my recruiting, we packaged an academic scholarship with the $500. So yes, you could say I'm going to St. Bonaventure and I got a basketball scholarship, but in essence, in the scheme of things, it was not a great deal of money. But when the AIAW dissolved in 1982, the Lenny Bonnies made their way into the NCAA as a Division II team. But in 1986, Telford and the Bonnies became an official Division I sport at St. Bonaventure University and joined the A-10 Conference. But the choice to move up to Division I was not Telford's. Instead, it was the NCAA's and St. Bonaventure University. So the NCAA mandated that a school had to determine what division they would play in. And then all sports would be deemed to play in that level. Bonaventure, of course, chose Division I. And um, so all of our teams, quote unquote, elevate it to a Division I status. And at that time, the Atlantic 10 Women's League was truly one of the premier conferences in the country. And at that time, Penn State was in the Atlantic 10, Rutgers, West Virginia, Temple. So the, the challenge was um, a great one. But we were... We were up to it, and we were excited about it, and we, we faced that challenge, and, and we had some good success. Telford left the program in 1993, leaving behind a legacy that included over 200 wins. Since then, the Bonnies have had three coaches in Marty Whitmore, Jim Crowley, and Jesse Fleming, earning over 300 program wins between the three. The team has also made the Women's National Invite Tournament four times, and have two trips to the NCAA tournament under their belt in 2012 and 2016. But no matter the score, there was always tradition in only in for St. Bonaventure women's basketball. There's a great deal of pride in, in the program that has been representative of St. Bonaventure. I think, you know, we, we're hungry for success again. Uh, and I think that uh, hopefully that, that will be the case in, in the future. But it, it is an uphill struggle. And, but, you know, a lot of teams can say that. But I would say that uh, we've been able to do a lot of positive things and, but look forward to more challenges and, and more improvements in the future.